Uh, I would like to give you a few uh, more s hints uh, for your homework. Uh, this is the homework 21A. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, let's consider this problem where we have the circuit uh, demonstrated, uh, shown over here. Okay, there are two uh, resistors and there is a battery connected to it and there is a switch. And we first consider the, uh, the situation where the switch is closed. Okay, so we had the rules in the class and in your uh, pre-class video. And this rule tells us that if a wire is connected in parallel with the device and the resistance of the wires is negligible, that's what we're going to assume that the resistance is negligible, then the current will bypass that device so that the current through that device is zero and the circuit can be redrawn without that device. All right, so what does it mean uh, when we apply this rule to this circuit over here? It means that uh, the current will flow along this wire and then it will bypass R2 and instead flow through the closed switch all the way back to the battery. Okay, that means there will be no current through that device and therefore I can simplify this circuit in the following manner by just removing this device, right? The circuit can be redrawn without that device. Okay, and this is what I have got after the simplification and then I can use Ohm's law to, for example, compute uh, the um, current uh, through that circuit or whatever uh, is desired to compute. Uh, I can also compute, for example, the power uh, that the battery delivers, yeah? But I think they ask you to find actually the current. Okay, so now let's uh, consider the situation where the uh, switch is open. Okay, if the switch is open, we're going to apply rule number two. So in the rule number two, it tells me if the current in a segment of the circuit is zero, then the segment doesn't affect the rest of the circuit and the circuit can be redrawn without that segment. Fine, so this is what it is. So this is a segment of the um, of the circuit, which is not closed, right? So it's, it's open. So there will be no current through the segment. The current has nowhere to flow here, right? So the current has nowhere to flow here. So the, all the current will go through R2 in this situation. So the current will flow through R2 and back to the battery. Okay, so there is no current which can flow over here because this uh, switch is open. So and therefore I can redraw this circuit in the following way. Okay, and let me just simplify it a little bit. So topologically it's absolutely the same. So I just remove this, uh, this bending in the wire. So this is what I've got at the end. So the current will flow uh, through this through these both resistors. And now we can use step number one. So what was the step number one? Uh, the step number one come by uh, series resistance, come by power resistances. And I'm going to combine these two using the rule how to combine the resistances in, in equivalent resistance. Uh, and then I will use Ohm's law to compute the current. Okay. Now let's consider uh, the next one. Uh, and then the next one, so as I told you in class, brightness is proportional to the current. So this will be the rule we are going to use uh, to solve this uh, set of problems. Okay, uh, when we are, where our resistance in the circuit is, uh, is the bulb, okay? So the brightness of the bulb uh, is proportional uh, to the current through the bulb. Okay. Uh, so, for example, when we have one bulb connected to the uh, to the battery, uh, we are going to have uh, the currents flowing uh, through this uh, bulb, and by using the Ohm's law, okay, we can find this current uh, for a given potential difference. We are given a battery, so we 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 have a potential difference. We have we can find the current, and of course we can proceed by fi uh, then finding uh, the uh, power delivered by the battery. How do we do this? 
we take the current through the battery and we multiply by the potential difference in the battery okay and we will find the power delivered by the battery so now let's add another another um a light bulb over here uh, and we will do this in parallel um then well to 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 to, to define the brightness we need to compute the current through each through each bulb okay so the current through the uh, through the bulb number one uh, will be the potential difference it's always the same for both of them for both light bulbs divided by the resistance uh, i assume that the resistance of the bulbs is the same so it's just r uh, i introduce r1 uh, for uh, just to show that uh, i use uh, the resistance of this light bulb to find the current uh, in this uh, segment of the uh, circuit okay so now i go to the light bulb i2 and i'll find the same result it's delta v divided by r2 and again r2 equals to r here fine so we find uh, uh, these currents uh, and you can see that they will be the same as in the situation when i had only one light bulb okay so by the way so the current through the uh, through the um, uh, battery is not the same as i1 and i2 okay it's something else we haven't found it yet so to find the la uh, the current through the battery so what we need to find actually we need to find the equivalent resistance well i hope you know how to find the equivalent resistance of the resistance connected in the parallel i wrote it over here but you need to do some uh, some mathematical steps to get to this answer okay so what do i do next i would like to find the current through the battery well how do i do this i know the potential difference i know uh, the um, equivalent resistance of the circuit i substitute what i found i will find the current i use ohm's law to do that so now what i can find the power generated by the battery how do i do this again so i have the current through the battery i have the potential difference i substitute what i found I obtain this result. This is the power which will be delivered by the battery. Okay, so uh, also I need to remember uh, the following rule that the lifetime of the battery is inversely proportional to the delivered power. Uh, this can be derived that in, you know there is so much energy stored in the um, in the battery, okay, and the lifetime is the time uh, the battery would uh, deliver the power. And what is the power? It's energy per uh, second, right? So, and from this rule, you can uh, you can you can devise so what would be the lifetime of the battery. So, but you can essentially use the following: that the lifetime of the battery is inversely proportional to the delivered power. But I think it's more or less intuitive why why this should be the case yeah okay so and now we can compare what's the powers uh, for two different uh, situations for the situation where we have two light bulbs or one light bulb or three light bulbs and we can can see uh, we can come we, we can um compare the powers okay uh, and then we can compare from that we can also tell something about the lifetimes and that's it